the thing which is going to have the biggest impact on the world from now going forward is online video and YouTube. Um, and the reason I say that is for a lot of, th a lot of things, but uh, you know, the incredible engagement in online video at the moment and the incredible growth happening, uh, those two things together make it really, really important. So I wanted to start talking about this growth because I think the growth is a really, really big piece. So in 2006, uh, Google bought YouTube. It had been around for a year. It was built in 2005, sold in 2006 for $1.6 billion. And at the time, everyone was sort of very certain that it was a bad idea, um, just a waste of sort of shareholders' money. Um, but what happened is, uh, you know, they grew it really, really quickly. And by the time we reached 2009, there were a billion views a day. Every single day, a billion views happening on, on uh, YouTube. And by 2012, it had grown by a billion every year until there were four billion views. And so at that stage, there were two views for every person on the internet in the world happening on YouTube. So just a massive volume of engagement. YouTube actually stopped uh, releasing results, but uh, all the sort of signs show that the growth would have stayed about the same. And so we could assume we're about six or seven billion views a day in the world at the moment. That's about two and a half uh, views per person on the internet. There are about three billion people on the internet now. So really sort of massive growth. Um, and another interesting place to look at for growth is Cisco. So Cisco is the sort of pipeline of the internet. It's sort of the thing which carries all of the internet through offices and that sort of thing. And if you have a look at Cisco's data, what they told us is that in 2002, every second, 100 gigabytes of data was transferred on the internet. By 2007, that figure was 20 times greater. It's uh, 2,000 gigabytes a second. Currently, we're around about 16,000 gigabytes a second. And it'll be about three times growth between now and 2019. What's really interesting is of all of the traffic today, 67% of traffic on the internet is online video. And by the time we reach 2019, it'll be 80% of total traffic on the internet. So four out of five bits of data transferred on the internet will be online video. So we're seeing that there's just massive, massive growth. And I think what's interesting is to have a look at what's driving that growth. Because if you understand what's driving it, you can get a really good sense of whether or not it's going to continue. So the growth driver is worth looking at. I'm going to start with data. So does anyone in the audience know what data cost per gigabyte when Vodacom launched 3G in South Africa? 42,000 Rand a gig. Um, so just really expensive, right? Anyone know what AfriHost is charging in South Africa at the moment for a gig of data? About four, four South African Rand. So we're talking about a 10,000 time reduction, times reduction in the price of the internet. So there's massive decrease in the price of the internet. And at the same time, there's massive increase in the speed of the internet. Global average broadband speeds. So this is the average speed around the world. In 2009, it was 3.5 megabytes a second. And today, the average around the world is 20 megabytes a second. I'm in a shared office space just up the road, and we get about 1.5 megabytes a second. So running a video business is, <laughs> is slightly challenging. Um, but you know what's interesting is Cisco, once again, estimates that the average speed in the world by 2019 will be 42.5 megabytes a second. So at 3.5 megabytes a second, uh, which is the global average in 2009, it would take about an hour to download an HD video, full HD video. 20 megabytes a second, it comes down to about 10 minutes. And at 42 megabytes a second, it's about five minutes. That's how long it'll take you to download the latest Hunger Games episode, for example. And you know, I think what's really interesting about that is when it takes you an hour to do something, it's not spontaneous. But when it takes five minutes, you know, to go and make yourself a cup of tea while you're waiting for the video to download is absolutely believable. Interestingly, uh, Google around the world has been trialing different types of data, and we've got a project at the moment called Google Fiber. I don't know if anyone's come across it, but that speed is 10, uh, sorry, it's 1,000 megabytes a second. Um, so we're talking, you know, many multiples faster than what's currently available, and that's available in eight cities around the world at the moment. So if you wanted to download that same HD video, it would take you about 12 seconds. Yeah.